All right, Shalom. Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as America, which is Babylon the Great in the Bible. We come to tell you so-called blacks, so-called Native Americans, and you so-called Hispanics that you are the children of Israel according to the Holy Bible, and whom you, uh, whom you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ is about to come destroy this place. All right, but before all that, we want to give all praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Wadash. That's who you ignorantly call God and whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. We want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and peace, blessing, and salutation to the brethren around the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in sincerity and truth, presenting their bodies as living sacrifices on the highways and the hedges. All right, we want to give uh, much love to the few sisters listening in humility. All right? So um, we're going to start off on, um, you know, talking about Israel and uh, the state of our people today because it's been a heavy spirit that's been on the brothers lately about uh, the coming times, man, and the things that are at hand, you know. Uh, we're ready for Babylon to be uh, destroyed, man. We're, we're ready, man, and our, our spirits are yearning for it, and we're sighing and crying out into the Heavenly Father. All right? We're going to start in Baruch. You want to get there, brother? Baruch 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse. That's right. Is that the end of that verse? And to be subject to payments. That's right. So uh, right now our people are yet this day in captivity, man. Okay? That's, that's speaking present tense. All right? We're yet this day in captivity. The so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and those of confusion of face, man, we're in a state of captivity. All right? It's nothing changed just because people think that um, it's 2018, and since you don't see people walking around with chains on their hands and on their necks, you think that um, we aren't in captivity, man. Okay? But in Deuteronomy, it speaks about the 28th chapter, and during the curses, it speaks about they, they will put a yoke of iron upon their neck until they have destroyed these. All right? So uh, the point is, we no longer, they destroy uh, our minds, man. So when you destroy someone's mind, you no longer need to have on their physical uh, chains anymore. All right, now we have on the mental chains of burden, okay? We're subject to payments. We're in a society that uh, doesn't profit our people, all right? Our people are in a sad, destitute state, man, all right? You know, the brother was just talking about, uh, you know, it's like we, we, we live in this day now where our people are just destroyed, man. Our people are destroyed. And it, it, it's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, man, because only one-third of the children of Israel are only going to be the ones who are to get out of that state to not be destroyed, all right? Because the Lord is going to send back his, uh, his comforter. You know, he's given us back these scriptures to open up our spirits to understand the things that are happening in these latter days, all right? Because if we don't understand that these are the last days and the kingdom of heaven is at hand, you're going to see that destruction is going to come upon this place, man. Nuclear yeah. missiles are coming to America to bring judgment. Our, right. our people, they got their, their mind is so destroyed that uh, the enemy has placed a box around their mind mm. that they're afraid to go outside of. You know, they, they don't, they don't, and, and they don't even want to know what's outside of that box. They just love that box and they just want to stay in that box. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crazy, man. Because um, when you tell when you tell our brothers and sisters about the scriptures, they don't want to hear nothing. They don't want to hear the truth. The only thing they want to believe is what they've been told all their life. Like they don't want to go outside the box that that Esau has placed around them. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, you're 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 an Israelite. You're 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 a child of the Most High. And then they're like, yeah, okay, I don't know. I'm like, well, why don't you know? Don't you consider the things that are happening to you and to every and to all your people that's around you? Mm -hmm. They don't consider that, man. And they they, they feel like they can uh, solve all their answers. Uh, based on the information and the knowledge that they've learned and that they've been given to Esau. You know, they think, they, can, they, they think that they can have it their way. You know, they think that the Most High is, you know, they can use the Most High to their convenience. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. A lot of our people think they know the Most High, but they don't know the Most High. That's right, brother. And, you know, like, you, you can tell somebody that, uh, that they're the prince of the power, that they're the literal child of God, and Come. they don't want to hear it, man. Come. You know, what, what, what... What kind of mind state do you have to be in to tell you that you're the greatest people on the face of the planet, but you'll neglect that? 
All right, the, the Lord has put a strong delusion upon upon these people, man. All right, you neglect the greatest gift that uh, that has been bestowed upon mankind itself. All right, so when our, our, our people are uh, consciously annoyed, and that's okay, man, because we're we're out here only to uh, fish for the elect. We're not out here to fish for every uh, so-called black Native American and Hispanic that walks up and down the street. All right, that's not what we're out, out here for. The Lord says, my sheep shall hear my voice, man. Okay, so those who, are, who hear his voice are going to come back and they're going to understand the things that we're saying, man. Okay, um, we'll jump to Baruch 4 and say, can you get Daniel 12 and 10, brother? You know, because the people, the people, uh, think that it's of their own fruition to, to not understand, uh, the scriptures. They think that that's a personal choice that they're making. All right, but the Lord has selected a holy remnant. He selected a certain specialized exclusive. You know, the thing about the uh, election is it's exclusive, man. It's a, it's a, if you want to call it a club, it's a club of exclusivity. All right. It's, it's not something that anybody can be welcomed into. You can't uh, just say, Hey, I want to be part of Lex. So can I join up? It doesn't work like that. All right. The men of the Lord have been preordained since the beginning of the foundations of the earth, man. Okay. Then you 12 and 10. Daniel 12, verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. That's right. So um, they said many shall be purified and made white. That's talking about the elect, man. But all of these other nations, two-thirds of our people, they're not going to understand, man. All right? They're not going to get the scriptures. They're going to do wickedly. They're going to continuously do wicked deeds, man, because that's, that's what the Lord put them on this earth to do. All right, it says they shall do wickedly and none of them shall understand. Did it say some of them shall understand? It says none of the wicked shall understand. None, not one of the wicked shall understand, man. So no matter how many of these Edomites, these so-called white people come out crouching, you know, try to act like they humble and try to act like they'll listen to the scriptures, all right? But they're not gonna understand it. They're, they're, that's just them wanting to be in cahoots with Jake, man. You know, these people just wanna be cool with us. They wanna talk to us and be friends with us. All right. But the Lord says none of the wicked shall understand, man. So they're not going to get it. No matter how many times, you know, we had a, a Jake last week that said, you know, I could read the Bible a thousand times and I understand it. You absolutely right. And that scripture proves that, man. You know, of course, uh, you know, uh, you should read because it says in uh, Revelations one and three, blessed is the man that readeth. But you, you reading is not all it takes, man. You got to have the spirit of the heavenly father has to be working with you, man. All right. The Lord is only dealing with the small remnant of the people on this planet, man. And that's what a lot of people don't want to understand. All right. Everybody on the planet is not ordained or chosen by the heavenly father. OK. And if you're not chosen, you're going to be destroyed, man. OK. See, destroy, man. You know, that, that, that's, that's, the, that's the state of our people. We throwing up the devil horns singing Edomite songs, and I ain't gonna lie, I like that song, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but still, man, you got Jake walking around, uh, profiting these other people, man, gotta work, so I get it, but he riding around, vibing to them, giving them rides, throwing up the devil horns, man, totally not understanding the, uh, Masonic rituals that these people are contributing to. You know, our people, it's like y'all. No, you got it, brother. Our people, man, they can't, you know, they're looking for something too high, you know, when you tell them to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high, they're looking at it. As it as 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 like just words could solve all the problems, but you'll be surprised what words can do to your spirit, mm, uh, to your mind, uh, and then they can't believe it. They see they be like, oh, I don't know. Oh uh, well, uh, I you know I will you know. Nah, bro, just come back. You got to work for it. You know, and then they'll they'll look at you and try to come in you and they're like, look, you know, none of this came easy for me as well. Mm -hmm. But. You, it's, it's true. The Most High has to put it in your spirit and to open you up to this word. That's right, brother. So, you know, I understand that. And, and yeah, you, you're absolutely right, man. You reminded me of a scripture. Uh, but they, this is, go they, ahead. they can't understand that words can change you. Mm -hmm. Words are powerful. Right, and see, um, matter of fact, let me get that in Philippians. They want, they want, they want riches to fall from heaven. They want, they want gold and they want all their problems just to go away in one, in one swoop. It's not going to happen like that. That, that's what this society has told these people, man. This is uh, Philippians 2 and 12. Who is we? Come back and debate your cause, man. Don't just say something and walk away. Debate your cause. Who, who is it? Who is we? All of who? So you're saying all of us, all the people were not here. You know, all the people were on the earth. He's right about that. 
Okay, but who are the chosen? Who are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father? That's the question you need to ask yourself. It don't matter if all the people walk the face of the earth. All right? And he says all the people were here before 12 tribes. He probably Benjamin, man. Look how he walking around with them dress. He probably Benjamin. You know, but he don't want to be like we were just saying. You tell our people that they the children of the Lord. They don't want to hear that, man. They want to know that everybody can get on the chariots. All right? But this is uh, Philippians 2 and 12. Uh, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right? So that that's uh, li listening to the words of the Lord, man. Taking counsel to the men that are on the highways and the hedges to tell you of the things that are coming, man. You know, faith come by hearing. You know, it's, look at our women, man. Walking, what you drive around with that on for? Looking like that, man. You know, but man, faith come by hearing, man. You know, I had one more, brother. Um, that you had reminded me of. This is James, one, and uh, twenty-two. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. All right. So the people out here, they hear the word, but they, what do they continue to do, man? Continue in their folly. They continue to want to uh, just all the time partying, all the time drinking, all the time committing adultery, you know, smoking weed. Those are the things that these people want to do, man. They don't want to do the works of the Lord, all right? That's that's too heavy for the people, man. You know, they, they like, uh, instead of coming around and doing the work of the Lord, man, we want to go turn up, man. You know, we want to we want to get drunk, you know? But that's all good because when you, you're getting ready for that judgment. The, the, the Lord is sealing people, man. He's marking people, all right? He's marking people for judgment just by hearing the words of his men, all right? He's marking people. All these people that walk up and down the street, man, you know, people try to act like they're not listening, you know, but they tune in. They tune in, man, you know? You got these guys on the corner that dress differently than uh, people that you used to seeing. They got the Holy Bible in their hands, and they're uh, proclaiming the words of the Heavenly Father. They're hearing, man, okay? And so, but they're not listening. But they love to say God, God, God all day, every day. That's their favorite the word. Come out, <laughs> when the scriptures come out, they, they just turn into demons. That's right. You know? Is, which is contradictory, man. Huh. Huh. <laughs> they don't make no sense. You know, you, you know the Bible is the word of the Lord. But when we start reading the Bible, it becomes a whole different subject, man. Huh. You know, how, how is now we're talking about who you call God, right. but now you don't you now you don't believe in him anymore. Huh. You know, hey, and, and that's the thing, man. Huh. The Lord will make pe people atheists <laughs> just from hearing the, the men of the Lord. Huh. You know, just from hearing the scriptures, man. You know? He, he's turning away the, the unwanted, the undesirables, man. You know? The Lord don't desire every people. Who was he? What's the the five but who's the chosen out of Abraham? No, that's not true, man. See, just for edification, uh, the, uh, let's get Galatians, the fourth chapter. Um, Abraham was the, was the father of many nations, all right? But Abraham, it was Abraham, Isaac, and then Jacob was born, okay? And it was Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, okay? So out of Jacob, the chosen line will be, uh, will, will be chosen. Not out, of, uh, not out of Esau. Let me see, um, what did I say, Galatians 4? You know, he said Abraham, but Abraham, and even out of Abraham, who was born? Ishmael, okay? But, it, uh, and I think that's what it speaks about in Galatians 4. Let me see. Uh, hold on, Salaki, because I, I had some of the Hebrews, too. But, you know, and see, that's the, the problem with these people. They will think that uh, out of Abraham, oh, so everybody's chosen on the face of the earth. That's not how it works, man. Okay? Yeah, it might be. Come on, you can get that. Okay, I got it. This is uh, Hebrews. Uh, this is Hebrews 11 and 17. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. All right, so when Abraham was tried by the Lord, Isaac, he told him to... Uh, uh, to uh, sacrifice Isaac unto him to kill Isaac. All right, and so he said he was tried by the Lord. That was by faith that led him to do that. And he said, and, did the, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. So Abraham received those promises. He offered up Isaac unto the Lord by his faith. And it says, of whom it was said that an Isaac shall thy seed be called. All right, so him saying right there that the uh, that we are all called because Isaac. I mean Abraham had. Uh, 
his first two sons were was uh Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael and Isaac. All right, but in Ishmael was his seed was Ishmael was his seed not called, man. And Isaac was his seed called. All right, so in Isaac was the Isaac through Jacob will be the ones to receive the promises. Okay, not not by every nation under the faith of, uh, under the under the scope of the earth, man. Okay. And my friend, I'm gonna get that in Romans too. That Romans nine, because. This is also, this is Romans, I'll start up actually. This is Romans 9 and 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. All right? So in Isaac, the seed was going to be called. And through Jacob, man, through the 12 tribes of Israel, not Esau, man. Esau did not receive the promises of the heavenly father, man. All right? He was, uh, he was rebuked. All right, he, he sold Esau, these so-called white people, they sold their birthright, man, for a morsel of meat, okay? And we can get that in Hebrews too, uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, uh, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are children of the flesh, these are not the children of the most high. But the, see that, <laughs> right there, it says, that is that they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. All right, so the children of the flesh, Ishmael, who was born of uh, Hagar, all right, they won't receive the promise. The bondwoman. That's right, the bondwoman, the handmaid. So that by him saying we were all here, you can say we were all here, but who was, who was the chosen out of that seed, man? You know, and so, you know, these people come up and say little things, blurt out things. They don't want to debate their cause. They don't want to stand around and talk. They don't want to defend the gospel, man. These people, they rather do the things in their lives instead of defending the gospel. But that's okay. They're not here to defend the gospel. We are. That was a, 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 a sanctification given to us by our Lord, man. All right? Um, it says, for this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also have conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God, the Most High, according to the election, might stand. All right? So he said, according to the election might stand. All right? So he has his chosen people so that his election shall be called out of the earth, man. Not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, man. All right? So it's about the chosen seed. So you can say Abraham, but what about Abraham, man? Give us the details. You know, but he, that guy probably doesn't know that. You know, they just say Abraham, oh, the father of all, man. You know, uh, you got that in Hebrews 12 and 16, brother? Yes. Hebrews 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Right, so when these so-called white people go into slavery, they're gonna wonder why. It's because your birth father, your uh, forefather sold his uh, birthright to the children of Israel, man, for a morsel of meat, man. He came out of the field one day, he was hungry. And he said, I, I give away all my promises. I give away the glory of the kingdom. I give away all of that, all right? But that was ultimately set up by the spirit, man. It was it was set up by the spirit for because he's been wicked since his youth, all right? In Psalms 58, it talks about how the wicked are estranged from the from the womb, man. Okay, and, and that's what Esau was, just like Cain, man. You know, they were estranged from the womb. They were estranged, they were uh they were chosen to be the wicked upon the earth. Okay. You know, so um these, these people out here, they 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 only know the knowledge of this world, man. Okay? They don't have uh spiritual spiritual guidance, man. Okay, the, these people, what do they seek out for their spiritual guidance? These people go to their churches, go to their false pastors and false prophets, okay? That's where they seek out spiritual guidance, or they talk to mom and dad, you know? That's not where spiritual guidance is from, man. You know? That's not where you're not going to receive it, okay? Uh, let's get Jeremiah uh, 3 and 15, okay? Because the, 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 the people that you are seeking out spiritual guidance from, they're, not, they're leading you astray, man. They're leading right, you right into the pit. They're leading you up for judgment. Okay, Israelites, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and those of confusion of face. Okay, 
The Lord said he's going to give you uh, true pastors, man. But you people won't get that. All right? Go ahead, brother. Jeremiah 3, verse 16. 15. 15. Jeremiah 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. That's right. So the Lord, he said he's going to give you uh, pastors according to his knowledge, man. All right? And we're going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right? So you people walk down to your, your Pizza Huts and your uh, Little Caesars and all your, your Taco Bells and your churches. That's what y'all go for, physical food and mental food and spiritual food. But the Lord said he's going to feed you with knowledge and understanding from his pastors according to his knowledge, man. Okay? Don't, we, this, is not, this is not of our own independence that we just want to come out and do this, man. The Lord set up 144,000 spirits from the beginning, all right? And Yahweh, of course. You know, 144,000 spirits to come out and tell these people what's coming, man. Okay? So this, this was preordained since the beginning of time, man. Okay? That's right. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Because he's about to return and put judgment upon America, man. You know, so they, they think we're crazy and say, oh, Lord, you're right. Because you're going to, in the days that are coming, you're going to scream, oh, Lord. And the Heavenly Father is not going to hear you, man. All right. Um, let's go to, uh, we can get Baruch 4 and 6, and then we can jump to uh, Jeremiah again. But see, you know, these people, they say, oh, Lord, because they don't want to hear us, man. You know, they're they like, oh, my God, these, these crazy guys are talking about racist stuff again. You know? Baruch 4, verse 6. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved Yahweh with Terah. You see that? So our people were sold uh, to, into slavery and captivity, not because he just wanted to destroy us. The Lord ain't set up Israel just to be destroyed, man. But we moved the Heavenly Father to wrath, man. We pissed him off. Okay? We pissed him off, man. We, we did grievous things, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, man. We start serving other, other gods, all right? As the Lord says, I'm a jealous power, man. You have to put no, no other god before me. So if you, honestly, you shouldn't put any, there's only one god. So you can't even put any other gods before him, all right? But that's what our people did, man. We, we followed the other nations, all right? We followed these other gods. We went into idolatry, all right? And the Lord take, doesn't take that as a light thing, all right? Go ahead, brother. Oh, and Salakia. That, and that speaks on uh, Deut Deuteronomy 28, chapter, uh, verses 15 on down again. Because if you read Deut uh let's get that real quick. Deuteronomy 28, 15. You know, because people would think that uh, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics went into slavery or were condemned just because these other nations were so strong to do it. All right? This is a will of the Heavenly Father if we disobey the commandments. Go ahead, brother. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments and, and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's right. So the Lord said, uh, this, is, um, this is the time of Moses. All right. And Moses is talking to the children of Israel. And he said, if you all, this is the Lord speaking through Moses. He said, if you don't follow the statutes and commandments of the Lord, all of these curses are going to come upon us and overtake us. All right? It's going to be a grievous time for us. And so one of those curses is that our people will be sold into slavery. All right? That was preordained by the Lord if we did not listen. It's just like when you have a father and you, you did something that he told you not to do. Damn, smoke. <clears throat> you did something that he told you not to do. He's going he's to uh, punish you. He's going to spank you. Except... The thing is, when you have a dad, you know, and he, he gets out, he just gets out his belt and whoops your ass, all right? Or he might punch you or something like that. Imagine the Lord's punch, man. All right? Imagine how the Lord uh, going to uh, hit you back. All right? It's not going to be so, it's not going to be so light like just a, uh, just a belt, man. All right? The Lord put the ultimate belt upon our people, man, which is captivity. Okay? No, you good. You can go back. What's your on Baruch? You can drop that dude around me unless you have something about it. No, 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 no. I was, uh, I was just, I'm just fine. I was just a boy as far as, uh, Abraham. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can go ahead. We'll just, uh, divert real quick. You can go ahead and get that. All right. It's a lot, Okay. This is, uh, Genesis. 
27. And 18, I'll start at 18. And Abraham said unto Yahweh, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And Yahweh said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call him, call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. You see that? So when he, when he said that, he would, did you want to get in on that, brother? No, no, I just wanted to just bring that out for the uh, for that, that one guy that came by talking about Abraham or to that extent or uh, Ishmael. Con, he also said, out of Isaac's seed, Con, you know, that, that's where it shall be called, man. Okay, and that seed that he's talking about is, is not Esau. It's not Esau, man. And where, All right. where did they get this mixed up from, bro? The scripture says nothing about Ishmael or anything to that effect. Like, what? what? Where did? They, and that's the that's the that's how you know the hypocrisy of these people, man. They don't read the scripture. They don't at all, man. You know, they just heard about Abraham and just ran with it, man. Okay. But you don't, you don't, you, they, yeah, they did no research, God. you know, and that's, that's, like, that's also Israelite one-on-one, -on -one. Right you know, right, right. 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 it is, you know, <laughs> that's Israel one-on-one, -on -one, man, right there. Yep. Ishmael did not get it, that's right, Ishmael don't get the promise, man, God. 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 all right, they over here trying to fake the phone, that's right, they man, be like Jake, but they're not Jake, <laughs> they ain't Jake, man, you know, and they got, they got a blessing, yeah, they no did. doubt they got a blessing, you know, they got, they, they got a blessing, you know, he gave them 12 princes, they got, um, you know all these different uh, Arab nations. Huh. They got all. Uh, they got um, Islam. Huh. You know, so uh, for them that's a blessing. Huh. You know, no, not knowing that that's going to be a curse upon them, but it, it, that's a blessing for for the for the time being. You know, until the Lord returns, man, to show you who the who the true children of the promise are, man. Huh. You know, and so uh, it's funny because all of these di different nationalities try to tell you what they what they believe is true, man. You know. And, and I, that dude that came up, man, if he was Benjamin, he bugged the hell out, man. You know, even, that's the thing. Benjamin, I be holding to a different standard than a lot of the other tribes. Because, down for because, the time. because they, they raving as a wolf. They, they people been singing about Yahweh, uh, Yah, as they like to call him, or it's Jah, since who knows how long, man. So if you a, a Benj if you a Benjamite, and you don't know nothing about the children of Israel, and you don't know nothing about the scriptures. You know, they don't got the whole understanding, but they got enough to put the pieces together. You know, Benjamin, that, Benjamin you know, the most high put the spirit of revenge on them, man, because they, they've been crying out for that, man. That's right. Con. That's right, man. And that, that's why they going to, Benjamin going to get busy in that day, and yeah, especially Con. against other Benjamites, man. You know? I'm going to grab my water up. But uh, we can go back to that Baruch, though. But that was, that was good for uh, edification for the camera. Con. Hold on, let me just start a new video too.